Patty Wack here from I Love to Create. I've got some great ideas for the party that you're planning for the holidays. I know you're thinking, what am I going to do? And this is perfect because it's for a party and it's with plates and you've got to have both, right? Well, this is a great little platter that I came up with for my family. This is a great big plastic platter and then glass plates. And these are going to be great to serve on, or I could just set them around and let them look cute. So let's get busy. Let me show you how I did it. All you need, of course, is a glass or a plastic plate. And as you can see here, I am working on the back side of the plate, so the top of it is still going to be able to be used for serving. Starting out, you'll want to grab that favorite photo, and I have one here that I've almost cut out. Now, I really like to cut out around their heads so that it stands out away from the paper. Now the tricky part is you're working in reverse, so everybody's gonna be heads down. Always remember that. And I have a little saying, it says, tis the season, and I want it to say, season, tis, I don't, I want it to say the right thing. I don't want it to say tis the, and season, season, tis the, you got that? <laughs> so we're gonna put the picture down first so that we have our placement right. I'm going to work with our glossy. This comes in glossy, it comes in sparkle, and it comes in matte. And I'm going to grab the glossy because we want our plates to come out glossy. Now remember again, we're working in the reverse, so we're going to put their heads down. I'm going to throw on some good collage podge right in the middle of that and then press it down with my fingers and then go over the top of it with some more of our collage podge. Now I'm ready to make sure my placement that I had such a crazy time with is correct on this part. I'm going to put a little bit of a coat on this because it's pretty heavy paper. This is scrapbook paper. So I put a coat on the paper itself and then a coat on the, paper, on the plate and there we go, right above their heads. I'm going to do the same thing here. Again, I'm going to put it right onto the scrapbook paper. Then I'm going to flip it over. Oh, I did it wrong, didn't I? We're going to have to put season down here and tis the up here. Now let me show you a trick. Flip it over and see if you got it right. Tis the season. Oh, I did it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to keep going. And I'm going to cover all of my paper with the collage page right over the top, coating it really well. Because now I'm going to put another bunch of paper and I'm just going to keep going until I have the plate completely covered. And if I find any bubbles, I'm going to press them down with my fingers. When you're doing tissue, you can just lay down the tissue directly into the glue and then lightly press on top of that with your glue and your foam brush. Just keep going. Now let me show you how to get it all the way around to the edge of this. Lay your glue onto the entire plate, work quickly so that it doesn't dry on you. And then I've got an entire piece of tissue that I can lay on top. Go right in and lay that whole thing on top of there and then press it down. Just like this with your hands. Make sure it's really into the glue and all the way to the edge, and then add one more coat of the glue on top, working quickly. And it's going to turn it into, oh, I don't know, kind of like a sponge sugar. It's beautiful. With the tissue, it makes it a little bit transparent, and it really brings out the fact that you're working on glass. I absolutely love this. I've been doing this for like, I don't know, 10 years, and it never ceases to amaze people. And if you put their names on here and you give it away as a party favor, 
They absolutely love it. What's fun is to save it for dessert, do it for the very last plate, and bring everybody's dessert out on a plate like this with their name on it, and then tell them they get to take it home. It's very cool. And remember too, it dries clear. It's water resistant, so I wouldn't want to put it in the dishwasher. I would just want to hand wash it, and then just kind of press around those edges like that. And there you have it. It's going to turn out just like this one over here when it's all dry. There you go, some great collage podge party plates. <music>